Hey guys, it's Zero Mephro from WFS Gaming, and I'm going to be taking a new look at the Pathfinder from Tribes Ascend. Alright, the Pathfinder's good at two things. It's good at capturing the flag, and it's good at taking down the enemy flag carrier. Although you probably want different weapons depending on what you're doing. For your primary weapon, you've got a choice between the light spin fuser and the bolt launcher. The light spin fuser does less damage, so it's good for capturing the enemy flag. You can aim it behind you and use it to get speed easily. The bolt launcher, on the other hand, does more damage, so it's good for taking down the enemy flag carrier. Secondary weapon, you've got a choice between the shotgun and the light assault rifle. I usually choose the light assault rifle for everything. It's good at taking down chasers following you if you're capturing the flag, and it's good at taking down the enemy flag carrier. Definitely the weapon to choose. For your belts, you've got impact nitrons or explosive nitrons. I personally think impact nitrons are the way to go for this. They do less damage, so you can get a lot of boost from them, and they still knock flags out of enemies' hands. The explosive nitrons do a lot more damage, but they don't knock the flag out, which isn't really that great. Oops. For your pack, you've got the Energy Recharge Pack or the Thrust Pack. Now, the Energy repack, Recharge Pack is good for if you're capping. It allows you to get high speeds quite easily and do some routes you couldn't normally do. While the Thrust Pack is great for chasing, you can be waiting on the flag stand and then if a capper comes in, you can use this to boost yourself up to 160, 170 pretty quickly and straight away get on their tail. For your perks, you've got well, for your first perk, I'd usually choose Reach. Um, safe falls there as well, which reduces vehicle runover damage. If the enemy have a strike, this, can, this is very useful. For your secondary perk, Egocentric is normally the one to get. It means that you can shoot yourself or use your conks and not take as much damage as you would do normally. Definitely the one to use. On the screen now is my opinion of what you should use for chasing and what you should use for capping. You can change weapons around depending on your playstyle though. When capturing the flag there are a couple of things you can do to get speed easily. One of them is to shoot the floor behind you with a spin fuser. This will do quite a bit of damage to you but get you quite a lot of speed. The other one is to throw an impact nitro behind you or just below you. This will give you a lot of vertical or horizontal momentum depending where you throw it. If the enemy chasers catch up to you, wait until they cross in front of your path and then use an impact nitron to change your direction or gain a big boost of speed. When you're going for the enemy flag and you have decent speed, press VFF. That will tell your teammates that you're going for the flag. Also, don't forget to shoot the flag stand to clear off any mines that could be there. Alternatively, if you're going slowly for the flag and you see someone press VFF, don't grab it, let them take it. Unless, of course, the enemy are about to cap, in which case you're going for an emergency grab or e-grab. When chasing the enemy flag carrier, use your assault rifle to whistle them down. And when you get close enough, throw an impact nitron or a concussion grenade to force them to drop the flag. When it comes to general combat, use your spin fuser to shoot the walls or floor behind the enemy, and use your assault rifle to finish them off when they're in low health. What you don't want to do is waste all of your energy flying really high. Instead, make your enemy think you're about to land, then jet a bit more. Then you can land while he's reloading and jet while he's shooting.
Also, if you're using explosive nitrons, you can shoot the enemy with a spin fuser and then quickly throw a grenade at them to finish them off. Anyway guys, that's all I've got for you. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, like and subscribe and check us out. We'll have some more guides up for you soon.